about Uzangi. We've been, uh, we've started Uzangi about a year ago and we've been designing and creating for, yeah, a year. So we're very excited. We'll be showcasing um, all of the fashions we brought back from Africa on our journey um, three months over there. Um, so yeah, all the work that was done by the tailors over there is what we're exhibiting tonight. It's quite an adventure, the process for getting our work created. Um, last year, Emma and I actually went over to Africa and so while we're there, we have to source tailors, source fabrics and then find places to do the work. Um, but yeah, it's created over in Africa by local tailors using local fabrics. And we're hoping to really boost the textile industry over in Zambia so that we can um, help the little guy. So how it started first was it was volunteering over in Africa. And then through that, I got inspired. I volunteered as a teacher over there and I got inspired by all the beautiful fabrics. Um, and so from there, we kind of brought it back to Australia. And the whole purpose behind it is um, to try and build the people over there. And to um, we, I was completely blown away by, um, you know, the love of the people and their culture and everything like that, but also to the hard the hard life that they live and the opportunities that aren't available for them. What inspires us is really the people of Africa yeah. um, and also the people of Australia. So there is women and men here who don't necessarily have a purpose behind their lives, don't know what they want to do or they want to help in some way but there's no opportunity to do that. So we've kind of created a medium through fashion which provides yeah a job, um, a better living standard and um, food and education for families and kids over in Zambia. And then the people of Australia purchase clothing and they're actually being a part of that story and that journey. And yeah. one, one other thing that we really want to do, there is emerging um, young designers in Zambia that do not have an opportunity to take their work anywhere. And through Uzangi, we'll be able to help them and um, make their designs a reality, so we're really excited about that. In the 1960s, this is a fact, <laughs> in Zambia, the textiles and fashion industry was actually really booming. Um, a lot of people had jobs and a lot of people were able to live pretty well during that period of time. Um, and then through um, change of government and things like that, um, a lot of jobs were gone and a lot of trade was being sold but one major thing that happened and this is that whole kind of um, where helping can hurt is um, the Western world sent over all of their um, secondhand clothing and completely shut down their whole industry so their fabric making their tech uh, tailors and everything completely lost all their livelihood when people see our work they usually like wow what's that like it's so bright so colorful the patterns are really different to what we have here in australia so i think um, a lot of people after a unique kind yeah. of product um, you see a lot when we go around shopping you just see the same thing in most stores so what we're trying to aim for and what we usually get feedback on is how unique our fabrics yeah. are and how unique our kind of patterns yeah. um, and styles are so. And also people get really connected with the story behind it. Yeah. So there's so much more than just a fashion label. There's like, yeah, this yeah. whole other under, yeah, the underground. The purpose behind yeah, it. Yeah, the purpose behind it is so much more probably what people get really inspired or interested in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would love to see us um, bringing absolutely stunning fashion extremely unique that women just love it's like a classic for their wardrobe that they actually never get rid of it's mm. just there year in year out um, but that we also start to look at other nations and other cultures and how we can bring their unique ideas and designs to the, the western world so I'd love to see that happen um, in the next five years. Um, you can find more information about Uzangi um, from our website, uzangi.com, and we're also on Facebook and Instagram. Our Facebook is Uzangi Fashion and our Instagram is underscore Uzangi. Um, but we're really excited that we're going to be in the Burley Village markets um, here on the Gold Coast very soon and hopefully some markets in Brisbane. But if you check our Facebook and Instagram, we'll let you know where you can get more of our amazing products. <laughs> we are Uzangi and we are raw artists.